All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Gaming with Jaden. I'm going to be playing uh, Bloodborne today. I would say it's my first time, but uh, I'm kind of restarting because I didn't like the weapons I chose. So let's go ahead and uh, try this out for the uh, first, second time. Once more, we're in the parlor of Mr. Creepy. The right place. Yarnum is the home of blood ministration. You need only unravel its mystery. But there's an outsider like yourself to begin. Easy, with a bit of Yarnum blood of your own. But first, and we start the, the game by getting a blood transfusion by Mr. Blind Doctor. You know. That's always a good sign. Let's see here. We're going to go through this actually rather fast. I uh, am not really worried about this until I get more into the game. Uh, looks like this is a good well-rounded... Probably why they have you start on it. Appearance... Build, uh, keep him slim. Let's see here. Guess that's passable. That's barely noticeable at all. <laughs> These are things you wouldn't even see unless you're zoomed in on the face, but I think you'd be too busy trying not to die. Why the hell not? Sounds like an unassuming name. You know one of those uh, from Rags or Riches. Hopefully uh, Walter won't die too much in my hands. Here we go. It's one thing about this game I'm hoping they patch is that the loading times, especially between death and uh, the uh, hunter's place, it just, it takes a really long time. So I think they know that though and they're uh, working on a fix for it. Because when you die a lot in the beginning, if you die a lot, you know, if you're not me, then you probably don't. But if you do die a lot, the loading screen starts to get a bit tedious. Good. All signed and sealed. Now, and we're back. Let's begin the transfusion. Oh, don't you worry. Whatever happens, you may think it all a mere bad dream. Oh, maybe he's not blind. Maybe it's just <laughs> some sort of bandages or something. <laughs>
Hmm. Okay. <laughs> and out of nowhere, there's a giant pool of blood. I guess that's the stuff that we didn't use. Hello, Mr. Posse. Well, hopefully anything that touches me bursts into flame. That'll make the game a lot easier. Okay, so first a werewolf attacks me and bursts into flames, and now I got... I don't even know what these things are. Like, Resident Evil or Silent Hill ghosty things that are going to eat my face. If this is the welcoming committee, I don't even. Ah, you found yourself a hunter. <sighs> and I finally get to control things now. A lot of pent-up anger from a being tied down in a group by werewolves and other miscellaneous ghouls. Huh. I don't know. We'll be making our way to this building. Hopefully somebody has some answers for us around here. And apparently we have ghoul architects here. Attack with R1. Lock on with the thumbstick. I wonder if that gravestone was supposed to show somebody dying or something because I uh, I didn't see it. View Spectre. Huh. It's not showing anything either though. This guy is a uh, Chowing down, I have a bad feeling that if I get near him, this is going to be not so great for me. Ah, uh, well. No rest for the weary. Get over here. Ouch. And missed. And missed again. I have a feeling that he's still... Ever punch a werewolf to death? Yeah, me neither. Oh boy. Oh! He's got a long reach, I'll say that. Ow! You're supposed to die for him anyway to go to the uh, new hub, the Hunter's Dream, I think it's called. And now we get to sit through one of the wonderful loading screens. Actually, it's not that long compared to when you die.
And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the hunter's dream. I'm not sure. I imagine it's like a in-between place or something. This is where you can... Uh... Oh, hey. Whoa. All right, then. This is where I can watch people die. He looked like he had some pretty neat looking armor. Whoa. I don't even know what that guy has. Some sort of crazy wheel. An abandoned doll. Lovely. That's not creepy at all. I never noticed that these guys are actually all holding weapons that they can offer you. These are called the trick weapons. In the very beginning, you could pick one of three. And they have different modes. They have the long range and the short range. So you get a pick. In the very beginning, I picked the saw cleaver. And it's really good close up on the, uh, the quick mode. The long mode, I wasn't so great at using it because it has a quite a large swinging time on it. Hunter's Axe does more damage. Uh, Threaded Cane I hear is good for crowd control, but I don't think I'm that great of a player, so I probably don't want to go the Threaded Cane, you know. Let's see here. I think I'm going to go back and use the, uh, the Cleaver again. Next thing is your uh, gun, which surprisingly doesn't it's not used for far off damage. It's actually used to uh, break attack patterns and uh, to stagger opponents so that you can uh, start your own combos and inf inflict stronger damage. Uh, I used the pistol last time. It's supposed to do quite a bit more damage, but it wasn't really helping me much. I'm gonna try the blunderbuss this time. See if uh, maybe it's more my speed. This right here is the uh, the notebook. I guess this is what people say were the uh, the soapstone or whatever it was for the Demon Soul games. I never played them, but I imagine you use it to um, show other people what's going on around you, give them clues. Uh, this over here is the merchant. Uh, they sell a couple pieces of armor and. Uh, Blood vials, but you can get those back later. Apparently, you can't go in here yet till later. So, uh, these are all the chalice dungeons, I believe, or something having to do with chalices. I have not even nearly that far. Go over here, and this is how you get back transport back to your first place, the sick room. Uh, I did realize, however, though, that uh, I did not equip my weapons, so that's a bit of an oversight. So I guess that's the uh, first thing we should do when we actually load back in. And we're loading, and we're loading. All right. Now that lamp right there will bring you back to the hunter's dream, but for now. Now when you equip yourself, these two right here are your uh, right hand weapons. So you can have primary, secondary. These two right here are your left hand, which is actually counterintuitive because this is left and that's right, but whatever. Go ahead and do the uh, saw cleaver and the blunderbuss. So now you can see them equipped. Now the weapons, as you could tell, that's the long mode right here. It takes more stamina to swing it, but uh, you can definitely do more damage. You can hold it and charge for an attack. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go back to here. And we are back in the infirmary. Options, of course, is for the menu. Now L2 shoots your ranged weapon. And I'm saying that really in quotes because from all I've read, you're really not supposed to use it as a ranged weapon. So 
we're gonna kind of see how that goes as uh, I get farther in. And of course, when you're, you could tell you're locked on, it'll show the, the health. So we're gonna go ahead and go in here. And this game has a neat mechanic. When you hit somebody, or excuse me, when they hit you first and, you, and your life hasn't gone down yet, you can keep pummeling them and you restore more of your life. So it's a little bit more accessible. So we're gonna go up. And, oh. Yep. Got the blood echoes back. And uh, one of the things I've also read is that you can still attack them while they're doing their dying animation, even though their hit points are low, and it will still restore more life. So that's always something to think about right there. Of course, the game uh, has ragdoll physics come back now, so you can push stuff around. Sometimes it's kind of annoying, but uh, it's always cool to see that. The vials are used by the uh, triangle key. And it's generally easy to get vials in this game. Um, just You could go back to the Hunter's Dream and it'll repopulate all the mobs and you can just come back and get more by killing the, the really easy ones. And you'll definitely get enough souls that you can repair your weapons. It's not that big of a deal. So, and I mean, the only thing that's really bad about dying is that you, you can drop your souls or blood echoes, whatever you want to call them, and you only get one chance to get them back. All right, so if I remember correctly, we can't go that way. Start heading this way. There is one thing I forgot to mention with the uh, the range weapon, and that's the uh, the blood bullets. If uh, you run out of ammo, you can hit up on the control pad, well, on the PS4 version, and uh, it'll take some of your life and give you five bullets. So I guess if you're ever really at a need for ammo, you can use that, but I generally don't like mechanics that hurt myself because I'm gonna need all the life I can get. So, I'm gonna go ahead and head over here. See this guy? Yeah, he's kind of pissed off. The guys in the beginning aren't too bad. They uh, are a good way to get souls so you can get new armor in the beginning. I'm not sure if breaking the destructible items degrades your weapons or not. Uh, I was doing it for a while just to see if it would drop anything, but so far, all of the things I've broke, I haven't seen anything fall yet, so that's kind of not here nor there either, to figure that out sooner or later. Yeah, and as you can see, I'm already at... Hey, get off me. Um, seven blood jars or health potions or whatever you'd like to call them. It's a lot different playing uh, online. I'm not used to seeing all the uh, specters around here. I suppose the uh, land's going to be littered with corpses, everybody trying to die in different ways. That doesn't sound good. So, this is our first lamp that you can light, and it brings you back to the Hunter's Dream. Uh, Ooh, you must be a hunter. Now, these lamps usually mm -hmm. signify there's someone you can talk to. And it could be flavor text, it could be a quest, it could mean... You must have it adds a little bit of uh, interesting you things to the game. Has a special way of treating guests. Well, I don't think I could stand if I wanted to... But I'm willing to help if there's anything that can be done. <laughs> this this place time is messed is up. First. Whatever your reasons might be, you should plan a swift exit. Whatever can be gained from this place, it will do more harm than good. <laughs> I'm 
What the hell? Appraisals. Fine, foul. It is all thanks to man. Eventually, it's the scourge of fire. This is a fine note. Huh. I have no idea what that's about. Let's go ahead and uh, put the uh, journal in the quick slot here. See if I can uh, do anything with the notebook. Oh, and I just hit myself because I was trying to change items. So, write note, notes made, notes read. Huh. All right, well, anyways, let's go ahead and use the potion and not stab ourselves on the side like an idiot. So we go ahead and we use that. Then we go back to the Hunter's Dream. And that uh, little bath where the uh, minion guy is sells a couple pieces of gear. So it's good to grab those when you start out. And we're back. Let's go ahead and head back over here. <laughs> Blood vials, bullets, Molotov cocktails. And those are actually a lot more effective if you have the oil potions or whatever. You could throw it on somebody and then throw the Molotov. Uh, pebbles, those are used to uh, break off single people from groups. Uh, let's see here. A little bit of armor, nothing else really for sale. Uh, so, first thing I want to get is probably the pants. Go ahead and switch these out. Go back and sell that. So the rest of the items that we need to purchase are probably about 2,000 blood that goes worth. Okay, good to know. Can we go up to the house yet? Possibly. Yes, we can. Well, hello there. Hey, you're in the hunter's dream. You, uh, you're a bastard. You must be the new hunter. Welcome oh, you're to different. the hunter's dream. You don't have the eye bandages. This will be your home for now. Huh. I am... Gehrman. Friend German to you hunters you're sure to be in a fine haze about now but don't think too hard about all of this just go out and kill a few beasts yeah don't it's worry about your blood transfusion or all the people going crazy just go kill you some know, beasts you'll feel better in the morning what hunters do you'll get used to it yeah I'll get used to it you'll get used to it buddy Come on, Walter. Let's see here. What's over here? Hmm. So we need items to do something there. Back over some books. <laughs> halt the source of the spreading scourge of beasts. Lest the night carry on forever. So pretty much to get out of here, kill everything. Got it. Makes sense. What's this? Fortify weapon, repair weapon. Huh, nice. So to upgrade your weapons, you're going to need uh, the bloodstone. So far in the beginning, which I didn't get that far at all, I only found one. But I don't know if they drop from multiple enemies or how that works. Oh, we almost missed something. Storage chest. Put all your stuff here. So that's always good. All these people having specters in the uh, hunter's dream just makes me shake my head. Alright, so, go ahead and head on back.
You know, it would have been nice if they had like random artwork for their loading screens because just seeing the words Bloodborne is awfully boring. Oh, that was weird. I just saw somebody appear in front of me. Wondrous Bonfire. I guess these are notes that other people are leaving. Uh, you know, sounds good to me. I'm just gonna give them a fine because I'm sure they meant well. Can't go that way. That's a hunter's dream. And we're gonna make our way down the stairs. These guys have cats on, that's a love. Time for hunting, indeed. Time for hunting. Ah, the pebbles. This is what you use later on to uh, split the groups. Ah, I one shot him. Take a step forward. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Bad idea. You will walk down and. Yeah. Well, at least it's not the other bonfire. Wow, lots of people died here, surprisingly. Shield has got going on there. Not too difficult, however. It is kind of irritating, however, that uh, when you get an item, you have to double uh, accept it. I mean, or, or say yes twice, which I mean, I guess they're making sure that you know you got something, but. Ow, why not on fire? Yeah, that life back uh, mechanism really helps out. As you can see, I caught on fire, but then uh, I smacked him a couple times and that uh, strong foe waits ahead. That's true. This is the place where I kept dying, where if you go down here, there is this guy. And that guy hits like a brick house. Uh, apparently he's not even guarding anything from what I hear. Though sometimes he can drop a gem. Not really sure what a gem does, but we're just gonna go ahead and leave him alone since he's not really bothering anybody at the moment. We'll just continue on our way. Oh wait, Starcher? Oh, that's someone's dead. Alright. Look at house. Lads, you have come on. You don't open the door on the night of the hunt. Away with you now. You know, there's a guy right there wrestling with a rifle. Let's try to leave a note. And... Oh, and someone's already done it. Well, I suppose we'd be redundant to do it twice, so. Get up yet? Nope. Come get some. Nope. Wow. Ah. Wow. That was terrible of me. But that's all right. Let's get this guy. One thing to always remember is they may look dead, doesn't necessarily mean they are dead. So it's always good to uh, give them a good smack in the head if you're not sure. You're not going to really lose out on too much. Yep, sneak attack around the corner right here. Makes me wonder if uh, they get anything from uh, giving notes. 
or if they just fade out. Uh, if they get downvoted too much, kind of like Reddit. And that's one of the uh, the blood shards. Those are used to upgrade your weapon. So you definitely want to keep an eye out for those. Don't think you can go. Ah, uh, nope. It almost looked like a passageway. Not quite though. Oh! How did I not see that? Apparently I'm off in my own little world. It definitely helps to uh, pay attention when you're playing this game and not zone out looking at the beautiful scenery. It's very dark and gothic, but it's incredibly awesome looking. They did a great job. Uh, the bonfire down here. Now, these guys aren't too difficult. The only thing that's bad is that there's guys standing around out there that have uh, guns. And you could be picking people off, but the people with the, the firearms will screw you up. And wow, how did they see me? Than I thought it was going to be. There's a lot of uh, hints too in this. Um, <laughs> beware of pincer attack. Yeah, that's weird though. I've never had them come up the stairs like that before, so. More bullets. Alright. One second here. Alright. Sorry about that. Dead guy. Here's something over there. Something's pissed off. Probably a giant of some sort. Alright, so we cleared out this side completely. Well, this upper side that is. Probably shouldn't walk directly down into that. That'd be a bad idea. If you hold the circle button, you can run. But as oblivious as I am, I'll probably run into people. And that's never a good idea. I have no idea how these guys saw me. They kind of came running out of nowhere. Whoa! Last time I played this, they weren't as spread out, I guess. I mean, I know they path, but it's kind of strange. I'm going to sneak past this real quick. Get this. this guy with the gun up here. Puppy dogs. Get the dog come up here. Uh, there it is. Okay, there's something over here. And that gives you souls or uh, blood echoes. The uh, the blood do do the do. I actually haven't been here yet. This is as far as I've gone. Surprisingly, I've not gotten very far in this game. But that's good because it makes for a better uh, game experience. And those dogs are nasty. They uh, are very vicious. And this guy shot me in the face last time, but good luck getting out this time, buddy. Whoa! And of course. 
when I say stuff like that. So that was. Uh... Oh, hey, there's another guy sitting right here. I'm telling you, oblivious people like me should definitely not play this game. I don't think my uh, getting snuck up on is going to help me later on in game. But luckily it's kind of forgiving right now because as you notice that uh, I've been getting hit a lot but there is also a ton of items around here on the floor. So. That's never a good thing with something that big. I wanted to see the specter, now he died. But apparently it's not going to let me do that. Let's go back up the other way and uh, see what lies in store. Ah, you know, actually, now that I think about it, let's go ahead and make it back to the Hunter's Dream so that I can uh, get all of my armor in one swoop. That'll uh, save a little bit of time later on. Oh, hey, there's more guys. More bullets. I probably find myself backtracking a lot because I want to play it safe, make sure I have all the best items before I head on. Every time I hear that, I think something's going to jump out at me. But it's just the, uh, the teleport back. Come back over here, talk to this guy. Why he carries armor, no one's gonna know, but you know, we can thank him for it anyway. That. And that. Ah, we don't. Oh, we do have enough. If we sell it. The second thing I was gonna say, I'm gonna have to go back again. Cap. And. Body armor. Ah, wow, look at that. I like how it ambiently moves, everything moves. So, that's always cool. Alright, so, let's go ahead and go back. Oh, that's right, we also have the uh, the blood dew too, so, I have even more soul. Purchase that last little piece there, just the gloves. <laughs> There we go. Now we're uh, definitely doing a lot better when it comes to uh, versus blunt and thrust and all that other stuff. I don't know what a lot of the stats do, like the beast hood, frenzy, resistance, and all that stuff, but uh, I imagine it's good to have high stats in everything. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, put that there as well. And. Molotov cocktails. Now it's really hard to remember when you're switching through the quick items like this, you can't go backwards by hitting up. If you hit up, you're going to do the blood bullet thing again and it's going to take health and you don't want that. Let's go ahead and leave a note right here. Let's see if we can uh, tell people to buy armor. Templates. Remember. Let's see, what can we do? Remember...
Yeah, this is going to uh, take far too long. I was going to write something about remember to pick up armor, but I guess it's kind of a moot point, to be honest. So now we're looking kind of spiffy. Ready to go back through and see what happens. Hopefully, uh, nothing bad, because this is already beyond the point I've been. Sadly, I am going to have to clear out the people again, so... I apologize for the wait on that, but we're going to go ahead and uh, do that earn more souls and uh, then we'll be stocked up for later on if I don't lose them. Loading, still loading. All right. Let's go ahead and try to make it back faster here. Hopefully my uh, running isn't gonna ruin anything. Die, ah, fool. Ah, I know I'm cursed, so I wouldn't be here if I wasn't. Kind of makes me wonder how the other uh, melee weapons will hold up against these guys, or if the uh, the quick attacks of the bone saw makes it easier to hit the guy with the shield. Fairly profitable. Let's go ahead and this guy seems to take a little bit more. These guys always seem to drop bullets. Any people holding guns, you know, I guess it's ironic. Wondering if I should clear out this bonfire anyway, just to uh, get some souls or whatnot. I suppose it'd be a good idea. Definitely don't want to tip off people who have guns. Should I head to the pebble thing? Ah, uh, maybe not. Oh, ouch! Wow, he has an ugly mug. That guy looked like something straight out of Pirates of the Caribbean. Those guys are going to come up behind me, aren't they? I know that they're pathing over there. I could have swore that there was like another line of people. But maybe not. I do know that that gun guy is not very friendly. Wow. Almost got half them all. Ow. I definitely got to work on uh, using my stamina a little bit better. I wasted on useless attacks. I'm sure if I did it better. He 
just crash into the wall? <laughs> Die, dog. Oh, I'm gonna definitely uh, put him down, which is good. Oh, wait, this is good too. I'm already back at uh, almost 1300, so that's good. Ow! And that's the guy I'm talking about. Beware of the hound. Yes, definitely beware of the hound. It uh is not very friendly to be honest. Time for bonfires. There's always time for bonfires. Oh hey. Oh, that's the guy that uh I knocked off the edge, but I have all the bolts I need, so that's not that big of a deal. We're gonna go ahead and head this way. And uncharted territory. So uh Hopefully I don't get smashed on over here. Seems kind of quiet, which is never a good sign. Huh. So, another house. I don't reckon you're from around here. Well, Stuck outside on a night of the hunt. Night of the hunt. Poor, poor thing. <laughs> wow, that's pretty harsh. Everybody's laughing at me. Oh well. Baby carriage. I could still hear them laughing there. Oh. Yeah. That's probably not the best place for me to go. I'm wondering if I can walk in. Nope, I cannot. Hmm. but we're gonna go ahead and try it anyway. Well, we killed him, but firearm is effective, you're right, but uh, maybe a lot more effective if uh, I wasn't terrible at using it. The torch. Torch is always nice. Let's go ahead and put that in our uh, usable slots there, or not. Maybe that's a, uh, a weapon of some sort. It is. Hmm. Oh, what is that? That was crazy. I see, I see. So that's how you change. So, oh, oops. I can't wait. That's not very helpful. I'm a bad sport. I see dogs. Let's go ahead and use potion. And then let's toss a pebble at one of these guys. See what we can do over here. 
heck is that? It's a crow. I don't even... You know, like, I don't... Oh my god. That is disgusting. Giant dead... Oh, oil urn. That will, uh... Definitely help with, uh... Throwing at people. Wow, you could still hear those people laughing from earlier. So that's always uh, reeks of item. Yes, it does. Hmm. So is this is where we came from. I don't quite remember. I don't think so. Out of that gate. I wonder if I can open it. Nope. Oh, it reminded me. I haven't used the other cold do. Oh. It's good for talking. hear it. <sighs> well. Can't open that gate. That was ugly, but effective, I guess. Bullets. Wow, lots of vials. Oh. This guy runs out, swings around, and bites the dust. Nice job. Hmm, so far, so good. Going up. <laughs> Indeed. I just now saw what you said. I, I didn't see there were people watching. Fire is effective. Uh, crap. That must mean that uh, the werewolves are near. Beware of the secret. Alright. Oh shit, I see something moving over there. Oh, there's werewolves, yep. Yep. Indeed. Wonder if I can pull one and then. Another bloodstone. Oh! Ow!
That was unfortunate. Very nice, very nice. So I heard that these guys were kind of rough. Oh yeah, looks like there's two people. I do apologize if I don't uh, say anything because uh, I'm trying to make sure nothing sneaks up on me. That was cool though, I uh, beat both the werewolves. I remember reading about them, I never saw them though. Makes me think that there'd be something over here, but maybe not. That's really freaky. Oh hey, look there is. Another blood shard. I think I have enough to uh, make my weapon stronger, which is awesome. All right, so, killed the werewolves. Came up there. I don't know which way I came up. If it's that way or the other way. Uh, let's check over here. That's uh, not. All right. So let's keep going this way then. It looks like there's another werewolf or something over here. Not quite sure. Oh! Got me fine! That's never a good thing. Where the hell did he come from? probably going to tell me right now. Oh! I hear that there's something good in this house, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to see what's up in here. Breaks of darkness, therefore beware ambush. Sounds good. Aha! No, you don't. Get off me. Yeah, I don't think so. You know, I have a whole bunch of souls. It uh, looks like I'm probably due to die sooner or later here. Oh boy. Oh. You don't say. I know there's going to be a guy in here. Oh, he's right freaking next to me. Holy shit. Well, that's good that he didn't try anything. Pungent blood cocktail. No mercy for wheelchairs. <laughs> That's kind of mean. All right. Let's see if uh, what that item does. Huh. Ah, here we go. It attracts beasts, so that's a lure for werewolves and stuff, it looks like. Let's go ahead and put that there. I'll probably forget about it, but you know, it doesn't hurt. There we go. Wonder how long the torch lasts. Hopefully it doesn't uh, wear out. Let's 
see here. Beware of light, reeks of wheelchair. True story. Is this a way out of here? There is a way out of here. However, it makes me wonder if uh, going out this way is going to lead me into being attacked. Oh, yep. Saw that coming from a mile away. Don't be fooled. Huh. Brick guys down there. Need to make it back to the uh, hunter's dream. Then maybe I can. Wish I could bank the blood echoes, but you can't. Another blood shard. <laughs> just die already. Yeah. I haven't died yet, surprisingly. The werewolves are a part where most people die. I think the, the first boss is around here somewhere. Ah, this is the gate. This leads you back. This is a shortcut. This is back where the uh, Hunter's Dream's at again. So... I don't think I can buy anything, but I'm gonna go ahead and try anyway, just to check it out. Still loading. All right, and we're back. Now I know sooner or later in the game, uh, the doll will start giving you uh, ways to level up your stats, but you have to get a little bit farther in there. Uh, Molotov of cocktails, all the other stuff. I should probably buy a couple of pebbles just in case. Yeah. Those are kind of expensive, however. Go ahead and head back there, see if we can uh, upgrade this weapon that we have. Hey, look, the guy's back. This was once a safe haven for hunters. A workshop where hunters used blood to enhance their weapons and flesh. You don't say. We don't have as many tools as we once did, but... You're welcome to use whatever you find. Even the dog. Wow. That's kind of creepy. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, pair this. And can we fortify it? Yes, we can. From 90 to 99. So that's pretty good. It uses three out of my four blood shards. But there we go. Let's go ahead and and do that. Definitely help out. Can't really do any of this over here yet. All the specters of the people dying in here is ridiculous. The loading screens, the loading screens. I haven't even died and I've seen a million loading screens already. All right, great thing is, however, we actually have the shortcut now. So we don't have to uh, worry about any of that. You've come to the right place. Indeed I have. 
go ahead and head back here. This guy uh, thinks he's Mr. Badass. Can you go ahead and fall down a little bit there? Thank you. Full vials, full everything. Could go in the house and get more stuff, but we're pretty full up, I guess. Should probably head back this way. These brick guys are kind of difficult, to be honest. And there's two of them. And if, uh, yeah, the only thing is, is that this attack go so slowly. I wonder if I could just do one. Get out of here, asshole. <sighs> Ow. Yep, bad idea. And I'm dead. And that, my friend, is what happens when you get too overconfident. You die, and it's terrible. And what's even worse is that I can't necessarily pick up the, the blood spot that hit the ground because he could have absorbed it. That means that I would have to kill him to get it back. And granted, it was only 2,500 souls. Uh, later on in the game, that could actually hurt you a lot. I mean, you can go and farm them, but... I got put in the corner. That was me being stupid. I fired too quickly in his animation, and, you know, that was kind of my fault. But now we get treated to a lovely loading screen. All right. So, back again. Let's go ahead and do this again. That jack wagon took my uh, things. It's looking like... Oh, nope, they're on the ground, that's good. Come back here. Now, I'm not sure if I have to kill these guys. I might not have to. I could try to run past them, maybe. But let's try to beat this guy anyway. Yes, he did shove a brick in my face. It did not feel... Uh, but they dropped blood vials, so that's definitely a plus. Ragdoll physics can be kind of weird sometimes. He looks like Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Alright, so... Let's try this again. Hopefully he doesn't uh, hit me in the face. Yep, yep, all right. All right, much better, much better. You live, you learn. So, that helped a lot. Elevator, looks like, maybe. Uh, guess we should go up, maybe. I hate small corridors. I don't really see anything around here though. So I do hear somebody though. Nothing. A crushed body, apparently. Look, more souls! I need to use a lot of those later on. I haven't used them unless I'm going to buy something because you don't drop them to my knowledge when you die, so. 
down up here. Oh, hey, dog cages. That's never a good thing. Yeah. As mean as that was, I just don't want to give it a chance. Oh shit, there are dogs down there. Get over here. Come here, come here. Right. I feel horrible doing that, even though it's a video game, but, you know. Oh, I need a dog. Oh. Another dog over there. Maybe if I know somewhere for her to hide, then it might help. What is this place? Definitely hear something breathing, but that's that's a way through. So that's something. Oh fuck! All right, so what is this guy? Ow! Damn it hurt. Well, that was like a uh, a werewolf guard of some sort. Maybe I don't want to go down there quite yet. Probably go through this uh, little window area. If I don't get stabbed by anything over here. I hear stuff all over the place. Werewolves. Oh joy. Sure, why not? So does this lead anywhere? I definitely don't want to uh, fall down in this hell. Ah, whoa! I have no idea what just shot at me. Oh, there is something over here. Well, that sounds good. Oh, I do have to fall down. It looks like. 
Do I need like... Where the hell is she going to go? Oh, I see. So I can go this way. Maybe. Can I come this way? Adversary waits ahead. Alright, so... Might not be the best idea. Oh! Oh! You still have dreams. So. Wow. Well, he has a lot of hit points, and he talks to me as he kicks my ass. So, there's that. Dude, that's in about an hour and 20 minutes, so wouldn't say it's too horrible. Definitely uh, shouldn't have attacked that guy. Hopefully I can get the uh, blood things back without getting killed. If I can remember which way to go, which that's going to be the different trial. Just to catch all those dogs and everything, it's gonna take quite a bit. Might just run past these freak guys, I don't know. Ouch! That probably wasn't the best idea. I wonder how far they'll chase me. Ah, uh, not too far. That way I went. This way is the dogs, I believe. Yep. Dogs are vicious. Should have shot him. I don't know what I was thinking. Or, well, shot him at the right time, at the wrong time. I consider myself doing a civic duty by killing them. Nope. Oh shit. Go back, get my soul. Oh, and not hit the wrong button. See, I'm demoing how you shouldn't play the game. If uh, you do the opposite of everything I do, you'll probably beat the game in like an hour. You know? I wouldn't be surprised. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and go back this way. Last time. Hopefully they won't shoot at me like they did last time. Whoever stacks things like this, I don't even know what, which one's in their head. Alright, where's the walkway that I went from? Alright, well you know what? I'll just walk all the way around again. Oh! 
Indeed. Who is firing at me? Oh, the hidden guy up there apparently, because I cannot see him. All right, there's that guy over there. We uh, what is going on? Oh, he took my freaking souls. That bastard. You know, something tells me this is going to be an incredibly bad idea. <sighs> no. Let's see here. That was, you know, that was something. Only I would go all the way back to a uh, creature who I knew was going to whip my ass. Anyways, I think this is a good time to leave off. Uh, I really appreciate you coming and seeing Gaming with Jaden on my uh, inaugural view. Um, go ahead and join me again when I come back and... Uh, Let's see if I can go earn some more souls and not get beat up by a crow. Because, you know, nobody likes getting beat up by a crow. Anyways, thank you for joining me, and I will uh, see you guys all later.